Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Star Citizen video. And today, I'm actually really excited because I'm showing you a ship that has completely 180 my, my opinion on it. Welcome. It is the Cutter Rambler. Uh, it has an amazing paint job that I've put on it. And, the, like, the Cutter has been fine for me. I Like, it's not a bad ship by any means. But I've kind of, like... It just didn't really do anything for me, you know? There are some shit. there's a lot of ships in Star Citizen, right? And you're not gonna love all of them. And the Cutter for me, when it came out, kinda cool, but just not my thing. The Rambler, on the other hand, has taken me... Um, like, it's just kind of got me. It's kind of a variant of the Cutter, and it is basically... an expedition... caravan, campervan, sort of a thing, and here it is. Oh, look at the paint job! I've got this, like, Mandalorian Noble, it's called, uh, paint job on it, so it's all pure silver, and it looks absolutely awesome. And so on the outside, it doesn't look too different, right? You've got, it's kind of got the same sort of cutter charm, but on the top here, you've got, like, extra space for a bigger quantum fuel, I believe, or more fuel. Uh, you've got different engines, and it's a little bit smaller on the outs, like, on the storage end here. But on the inside, it's been expanded. So as you can see, it's not really much in the way of, like, space out the back. Which is fine. You're not really going to fit that much out here anyway. You've got the components and stuff. It's really cool. Absolutely love that. It all kind of can be played about with. When we're going to do engineering, we'll be able to come out here and kind of fix stuff up, which is cool. I really love uh, this sort of stuff. It's kind of all tactile and... Is awesome, but yeah, like I say, Drake ships typically don't do a huge amount for me. But the interior has got like a little bit bigger, so you've now got like a seating area, um, you've got like a kitchen food area. Um, I feel like we could have had a window in here, but I feel like that's maybe a little bit too luxury. Like maybe, I mean, the engine would have been there. I'm trying to think where they could have put a window. You've got a little cabinet here for your armor, I believe, right? And then you've got like a weapon rack and stuff. It's, it's really cool. I actually really like it. Um, you've got the bathroom here. Nice. I <laughs> uh, love that. Very cool. What's this here? Open. Oh, storage. That's sick. Love that. That's, that's really cool. But yeah, I, I like really love the interior of this. I think it's like a really nice kind of uh, you can live in the ship. Uh, you could have a load of stuff in here. Uh, it j I really like that whole idea. And then the cockpit is pretty cool. I've always liked the cockpit for the cutter here. Because you kind of get in and it kind of spins you and levitates you. Ah, oh, nice! Obviously, this looks fairly similar. Can't remember, honestly. I feel like there was a fan, but maybe that's a different Drake ship. Maybe I'm thinking of the Caterpillar or the Corsair. But, um, yeah, we've got a little space here for a little... <laughs> Bobble head. <laughs> Bobble in a way. I really like this. I think it's a really nice all-round daily driver ship. Obviously, you're not going to fit a vehicle in it, but, you know, what would you put in it? you got different engines on the side, so down here you can see. Uh, this is different across all the variants of the cutter. So for this one, it's like four independent little jets. You've got two... Big ones and two small ones. I think this is one of the best variants in terms of how cool that looks. I really like that. Um, obviously, we've got quantum fuel. I don't know what the original has, but it says we've got 1,960. So if anyone knows how much we've got in the standard edition, do let me know. But supposedly, it's a lot more than you'd normally have. You uh, in, te in terms of like combat capabilities and what it can do... It's it's not really going to hold up much of a fight, but then, you know, it's not really designed to. It's more of a transport that can do, that can keep you safe, uh, get you from A to B, um, you know, give you a bed for the night. It, it's not really designed to go out and compete with the combat ships, obviously, but it's a lot more comfortable than a combat ship, right? So that's pretty neat. But I do have a little mission here. I thought we'd give it a go and see how we get on. Um, like I say, I'm not expecting this thing to pull, to do too much. It's only got two size one repeaters, so it's definitely not. Oh my goodness, that looks cool. 
Woohoo! Boost! It's only got like. Oh man, that looks awesome. It's only got two little laser repeaters, so it's definitely not going to do much damage. Does it have any missiles? Four size ones. Okay, so not a lot in that regard either. But hey, at least it's got something. I don't think it's meant to look like this, but it kind of looks like a little roof box, you know? I kind of love that. That's kind of cool. I love a little bobblehead just sat on top as well. All right, let's um, get quantum going. Go and do our thing. So, oh, light side of the planet. Let's go. Quantum drive doesn't seem to take too long to pull up, which is nice. Obviously, you know, you can upgrade all the components and make this the best ship it can be. But out of the gate, I don't think it's anything too special in terms of the quantum drive. If you got something really efficient, this thing would go for ages, but... <laughs> you'd probably, you'd probably uh, get killed before the fuel runs out, which is kind of hilarious. Oh, nice. All right, bit of combat on Microtech, light side of the city, the planet, sorry. Not gonna lie, I kind of enjoy, I, I don't know why. This one has just taken me, you know? I mean, look at this. It looks absolutely just epic. You guys let me know in the comment section if you think I'm being, I've, I've been a bit mean here to the ship or the cutter in the past, but for me, I just think it represents kind of honest Drake ship being honest. I don't think so. It just represents like, you know, that kind of solo spaceship life gameplay. And I think they've done a great job making this feel different. Uh, losing the back cargo space is a little bit of a shame because obviously you can't put like a hover bike or anything in it. But I don't think you can do that with the other ones anyway. So it kind of gives you more in internal space, gives you a little bit more distance to travel. I love it. I think it's, I think it's great. And I love it with this paint. I think the paint makes it. Anyway, I'm going to just bobble along here and I'll see you when I get a little bit closer. Alright, I'm cheating here. I'm going to quantum and try and pull out because it's taken although it's kind of nice like looking out of the window and stuff i'm kind of bored and stop oh no <laughs> i need the engines to kick in kind of i wonder what happens when you just let it fall i haven't turned on the engines i've got no movement right now do we just like plummet to the ground yes is the answer to that question we're picking up so all right let's turn on the engines engines there we go right 36k away, that's much better. I think I just saved myself like half an hour of flying. I mean, it's a really nice ship to fly around. Oh, just look at this. I can't get over it. I don't know why. Like, I didn't like the original that much. Don't get me wrong. I think I liked it to begin with, but it kind of, I got bored of it a little bit soon. But this variant looks nice. There's actually the Scout version as well. I'm not gonna lie, the Scout version doesn't really have any gameplay differences. It's got, like, better scanning or radar. I don't think that's in the game yet, so I don't really see the benefit of using that ship. Obviously, this has only got food and a table, but, uh, I guess you could argue the same for this one as well, but, I don't know. I just, I like the idea of, like, a mini caravan <laughs> in space. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, oops. I just dumb fired a missile. <laughs> Oops. Okay, we have three missiles left. Where is the ship? Seriously. There it is. So, a mantis. Okay. Gonna fire a couple of these. Let this charge up. Collision alert. I don't think so. Alright. Here we go. This should be interesting. Uh, do we have... Oh, we do have auto. Nice. Mm -hmm. A little bit closer. Oh man, this is cool. So there is. Is it still not going to hit? 2k away, still too close. Wow, this looks amazing. Oh, okay. <laughs> My bounty. Oh no, I can't talk. My bounty just literally flew into the ground. And this guy is barely... Oh! Oh my word, he just... 
exploded right in front of me. Oh, you know what? I've done a lot of dogfighting in this game, but that was like a really... I know he just blew up in front of me, but man, that had a really cool effect. Wow. I got, I got to show you something, guys. I don't know. I think I've already shown you, but... One of my favorite things in this game right now is this thing, and it's just being able to just pick up stuff. Oh, I can't pick up that. Are you kidding me? I just said how cool it was. That is so devastating. I can't pick up heavy stuff. I can pick up that. Hmm. There we go. Got a freaking weapon. Don't know where the guy is. Maybe he was drinking. <laughs> uh. Take the weapon off here. Come on, give it to me. Oh, now I can pick it up. Just. It'd be much cooler if I could actually... Um, pick up the heavy stuff. Well, there we go. I can pick it up now. I took off the weapon. And the weight's manageable. But I just love the fact you can just... Yeah. Eek! <laughs> That's hilarious. Something, yeah, maybe the mass was too heavy for it or something. Something was throwing it off. Anyway, he crashed. But just look at the scene right now. Ooh. So nice. Now we've got a beautiful rambler here. Oh, so good. Nice. What a screenshot. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, I love this little thing. It's great. Can I get another bounty? That seemed a bit easy. All right, let's do this. We've got a new mission. Uh, it's in a location that I've never heard of, so this is going to be interesting. I don't really know what to expect. I think it's going to be on the dark side of the planet, annoyingly. Uh, but it's for a medium risk target, so we are going to go up against ships that are way above <laughs> what I should be able to deal with. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go and see how we get on. Okay, it's still light. Nice. Either sunset or sunrise, but we got a little bit of light to play with, so that's nice. But, yeah, I kind of want to investigate what this place is. Because I have no idea. This could get spicy, by the way. Depending on how the AI is. Okay, I'm not sure. We've lost the, like, uh, neutralize marker. But we had that before. There we go. Oh, there's, there's the player. Okay, so I need to not actually shoot him before it comes back up. Because I think I'll lose everything. Oh my god, he's in a blade. Uh, Reliant and a... Just two. Ooh, and something over there. 350R. What is this down here? I actually have no idea. I'll fire a missile at this guy if I can. Oh, word. All right. Let's do the business. Oh, okay. This is going to be tricky now, guys. There's like four of them. It might be too much for me. Let's try and get this guy a little bit. Oh, that's a saber. That's heavy stuff. Okay. Let's get some damage on him. Oh, we're getting hit pretty bad here. Oh. <laughs> okay, three, two, one. He's going to go. Oh, my shields are down. There we go. He's dead. My shields are critical, so I'm going to see if I can get out of here a little bit. There we go. The back up. Okay. Who have we got next? Oh, that's my... Oh, maybe I should just kill this guy. Because this is, like, the guy I'm meant to target.
don't have any more missiles, do I? He's really being weird about... Oh my word. Hello. Alright, suit you. Oh shoot, that's very close. <laughs> oh, everyone's so much faster than me. Whoa. Obviously, I'm not using the joystick anymore, so... Oh, where'd he go? Freaking lost him now. Ugh, come back here, you! He's out maneuvering. Not anymore. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yay, we got him! Nice! Yes, blow it up. Sweet. Last guy. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. This is our actual contact. It doesn't say neutralize, so I actually, if I kill him, I don't think I'm gonna get my um uh, mission. But never mind. I can't just wait around. The servers might not ever give it to me, so... We'll know we completed the mission. Wow, doing a lot of damage. Oh, there we go. Nice. Oh, I did count. Sweet! So we did, we did the objective. Sweet. So what's this down here, then? Is it an outpost or something? What is this? It's like a watchtower? Whoa, that's crazy. Huh. And what's over here? I am so not clued into all of this. I feel like I should be. Oh! Oh, the frames! <laughs> oh my word. Place is clearly not optimized yet. Welcome to my slideshow, everybody. Oh, okay. I think I'm finally out of it. I'm gaining frames. Oh, my word. That was ridiculous. I'm so upset because that location looks amazing from the sky. But as soon as you get anywhere near it, it completely obliterated my FPS. I was getting, like, less than one frame a second. I was getting, like, a frame every five seconds. Like, that is... Ridiculous considering you know the PC specs I'm running That's crazy that needs some serious optimization. Yeah, I really really love this little rambler um, I think it's a fantastic little ship and uh, I think this is definitely one. I think a lot of people were gonna rock um, I think it just it's that right. It's that good little balance of you know does a little bit of everything is easy to fly um you know, it's not a combat ship, but I've shown you today, you can do a bit of combat. It is not the best, and it's not very, <laughs> very maneuverable. But, hey, it's better than no ship, you know? That, put that on the box, Chris. The Rambler, better than no ship. I love it. I think it's great. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. This is a cool ship, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.